One and happy Independence Day. Well, um, today's a holiday here in the Philippines, and uh, because we're celebrating our year of independence, exactly um, <laughs> back in June 12, 1896, was when um, the Philippines independence was declared. And um, during that time, people were fighting with all their power, with all their strength, and of course with their might. Because without their might, they would not have able to, they wouldn't have, uh, what you call this, won the, the war. Okay, but today we'll talk about a different might as we talk about the prophet Micah. Okay, so if you, if you look at it through our series, um, the time that we started about how God showed his love towards people, we're actually nearing the end of the uh, what you call this of the uh, Old Testament so it's as if we've been reading the whole <laughs> Bible so um, come with me today as we do another series about God, how God showed his love towards a person and this person is from the prophet Micah Micah was um, became active in the 8th century BC and he was able to his prophecy is actually his, his this book of Micah composed of eight, uh, seven chapters and it's actually about uh, punishment redemption and love okay why did it put love because it's about because of even though God's angry and people deserves punishment the book of Micah tells about the Savior and was able to accurately pinpoint Bethlehem where the Messiah will be coming from of course, before we begin, let's pray. Father in heaven, we praise and thank you for today. Thank you, Lord, for another life. Thank you for another great day, Lord, that you've given us. Thank you for showing us your love. And thank you for allowing us to be able to rest for today, Lord God. Lord, um, thank you for the life of the prophet Micah, Micah, whom we will be studying today. Lord, reveal your words through his name and um, show us how you loved him. And may we be able to learn and understand and apply it to our lives. Father, if there are any sins in our hearts, please take it off. Allow us to come near your presence. Allow us to, to, to study your words today, Lord God. Allow us to seek you. Allow us to find you. And let all glory, honor, and praise be for your name alone. Through the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Okay, our verse for today is found in Micah chapter 3 verse 8 and it says but as for me I am filled with power with the spirit of the Lord and with justice and might to declare to Jacob his transgression to Israel his sin now during this time there were a lot of prophets uh, claiming to be prophets and they were just prophesying good things and if you look at verse 7 tells us there that the, the seers, the prophets, will be hiding their faces in a, in, because they will be ashamed because there will be no words that will come up from God. But, look at what he said, but as for me, I am filled with, the, with power, with the Spirit of the Lord. Let's go back, um, how many years was it ago? 2000, um, wait, 1896, so that's probably about 20... 23 so that's seven okay probably uh, just just an estimate okay I guess I can't calculate it right now it's a hundred and uh, no 1900s 100 127 years right now 127 years when we were liberated prior to that there was a lot of fighting and the people were using all their might, all their strength, because they believe in one thing. And they believe that freedom is worth their lives. The prophet Micah, Micah believed in something as well. He believed that he is with God. He's a prophet of God. He's, he's a messenger of God. That's why he said, even though the others will not be able to prophesy, I will be able to do it because I have this. I'm filled with power, with the Spirit of the Lord, and with justice and might. Our word for today, the letter M for the um, 
Micah is how God showed his love towards Micah is through his might. God gave him strength. God gave him his might so that he will be able to proclaim the words of God. Just imagine this. Um, the, the book of Micah, if you read about it, tells about the destruction, about uh, Jerusalem, about uh, Judea, about Samaria, about the invasion. It talks about all about that. And if you are going to hear that, for example, if you're from Samaria, and you've heard, the, if you're hearing this prophet telling you that you will be conquered, you, you're sinful, at least he was mocked. He was even mocked, he was laughed at, because um, Micah was talking about um, the prophecies of God, but because of the strength that was given to him, because he was filled with the Spirit, he was not afraid. And with justice and might, look, justice and might, God gave him, because he was justified, because he's a servant of God. He's a sinner as well, but God, because of the Spirit that filled him, Spirit of the Lord that filled him, he was justified from his sins, and aside from being justified from his sins, he is now courageous to declare to Jacob his transgression. See? How, how hard would it be to tell someone, hey, made a mistake, need to repent, and you need to, what you call this, say sorry from your, for your transgressions. Right? That's so hard to do, right? Can you imagine telling someone who's happy with what he's doing, who believes that they're not making any mistakes, who believes that the pagan gods that they're serving are, are real, who believes that um, what they're doing based on, based on their um, lifestyle is correct? Who are you to tell them that, hey, you're, 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 you'll be going, you will be, uh, what you call this, you'll be conquered, you will be punished because of your sins, right? That's not easy. Try, try going out right now. Tell people, hey, you're a sinner, stuff like this, you need to do this, you need to do that, or people will just mock you. Look at how, um, if you look at the, uh, our world right now, musicians before they're very cute and, and um, what you call this, um, simple, but now there's during the concerts and during, during stuff, during their music videos, you'll see different kind of different versions of them portraying Satan. And if you tell someone, "Hey, you're wrong. Hey, don't don't listen to those people," they just look at you and get mad at you. Actually, I, I said this yesterday, and I was, um, I got an anger. I got an angry person at me because I. I told her, hey, be careful of this artist because before she was really good, she was really cute, she was really, uh, what you call this, she was just doing what you call this, um, a very simple person, but now you'll see that it's a different person portraying Satan, demonic acts. So if you, if you are this person who was given by God the Spirit. Look, if you look at if, if you look at the, the if you read through the book of Micah, it says here, I'll be howling like an owl. I'll be naked, walking naked because of the sins. You see, the power of God, especially when you're filled with the Spirit, it will give you a different kind of might, a different kind of strength, a different kind of, of spirit that you will be able to declare the powers of God. I am my, I, I'm not a perfect person. I sin most of the time, get mad. But because I cling to and I surrender to the will of God, even if actually when I was reading, I read the whole book of Micah and I don't, I don't know what to say. And our series is about, um, we'll be talking about Micah, that's M-I-C-A-H. Five words that we'll be discussing for six days. And I don't know what to say. Suddenly, it, this word came out. And if you look through all the devotions that we've had, I really don't... Um, actually, I can really say that I don't know the, where these words are coming from. When I review it, I'm, I'm amazed about uh, the lessons and the discussions that we are able to, to study. Because it's God's will. I'm not saying that, hey, 
I'm a, I'm a prophet, you should believe me. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that I'm allowing the Spirit of God to fill me so that I'll be able to discuss and, and be, uh, what you call this, be the channel of blessing or be the channel of God's Word towards you and others who's watching. You see, I can't have that mind. I never. I'm, I'm a person who's, who's afraid of talking. Whenever I stand on a stage, I love the fame, but never the experience. I, I hate it when 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 you when you uh, when I uh, go up the stage or to talk about it because um, you're you're actually prone to being ridiculed. People will judge you, right? But for me, I don't care. I, I don't care about about that anymore because what I care about is I'll be able to share God's word. So, the Spirit of the Lord. Make sure that it is the Spirit of the Lord that you are filled with. Not the Spirit of yourself. Not the Spirit of, 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 um, of, of others. Not the Spirit of fame. Not the Spirit of, you think that you're um, sharing God's Word, but it's actually you who's sharing yourself. It's not, it shouldn't be that way. Okay? So, remember to always be filled with power, with the, whole, the Spirit of the Lord. It's the Spirit of the Lord that we need to be filled ourselves with, not with anything else. God showed His love towards Micah by giving Him that, filling Him with that power, filling Him with that Spirit, so that He will have justice and He will have might and the strength to be able to, to share and declare to Jacob His transgression and to Israel His sins. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we praise and thank You for today. Thank You, Lord, for uh, the weather. <laughs> Even though it's raining and it's uh, very windy right now, Lord, but thank you because you are showing your power towards towards what's happening. Lord, um, thank you for showing your love towards Micah. That you have filled him with the Spirit, Lord God. And because you filled him with the Spirit, he's, with your Spirit, Lord God, is able to have the strength, the courage to share your words, even if it's, it takes, it means that he will be losing his life. Lord, Fill us with your power. Fill us with your spirit, Lord God. And make us bold, courageous to share your words to others. Every time we feel afraid, every time we feel that we can't do it, Lord, give us the might that we need so that we will be able to express what you want. And let all glory, honor, and praise be for your name alone. Through the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Through the life of Micah, he was actually pushed a cliff to die with an order from the king because people at that time love the sins that they were doing and they don't want to be uh, what you call this they don't want to be taught they don't want to repent but Micah allowed that to happen because he was filled with the spirit and he's not afraid are you afraid of sharing the gospel of God if you are and ask the Spirit to fill you so that you will have the might as Micah had. God will fill you and equip you with whatever it is that you need. All you need to do is ask. God bless you. I'll see you again tomorrow as we talk about the life of Micah. God bless you. Bye.